I've done a lot of weed control videos and I run a weed control business, but in this video, I'm gonna show you two products that'll get you results fast. I try to tell people, guys, it's not a race. It's not a race when we're trying to kill weeds, but sometimes, even for me, a lawn care professional, I wanna see something that works quickly. I wanna see some results. I don't wanna wait three weeks to see weeds die. So let's show it off today. I'm gonna to show you two plots of weeds. Actually, I got four plots with two different products. We're gonna compare the two products, but these are lightning quick. Now, I tell people, uh, when the weather's warm, most any herbicide is gonna work faster, okay? So it's summertime, the weather's hot, and that's gonna speed up our results. Let me show you the products. We're gonna spray the weeds, and we're gonna dominate something in this video. If you wanna run a weed control and fertilization business like me, then you might consider getting a Gram spray rig. This is the one I've been rolling with for years, a 400 gallon split tank. But this is not the only thing they offer. They've got a lot of different tank options and they can customize just about anything you're looking for for your business. If you need a spray rig for your business, go to gramsc.com or give those guys a call or stop by and visit them in Douglasville, Georgia. So here's the products. Okay, we're gonna show you the weeds. This is blindside product I've been using for a long time and Dismiss NXT product hadn't been out on the market that long, but also is very fast. Now one thing's gonna make these fast is their active ingredient. This one is sulfetrazone, which is the active ingredient in Dismiss and also has metsulfuron. This one is sulfetrazone with carfentrazone. Carfentrazone, I believe, is found in some of your speed zone products. That sulfentrazone is going to give you some very fast burn down action. I'm going to show you the weeds we're spraying on. I'm going to talk to you about how I mix these up so you can know exactly what to do if you want to do the exact same thing I'm doing in your own lawn or for your own business. Uh, so let's take a look at the weeds, our contestants for today, and then we will spray them and check back and show you how dominant these products can be. All right, contestant number one. Some kind of crazy broadleaf weed. I don't even know what this is. It's a little bit of goosegrass mixed in here. This is kind of a bare spot in a Bermuda lawn. Spurge, lots and lots of spurge. So we're gonna uh, dominate that. Got that little patch over here. We've got some, uh, some type of Kalinga, some sedge looking thing right there. A little bit more spurge. Again, I've got two plots for the Dismiss NXT and two plots for the blind side. All right, so that might be the Dismiss NXT plots. I've got the flags already in the ground. I've got it written on the back here. See how organized I am? Blind side. All right, so this one is the blind side. Got a little bit of spurge, a little bit of clean. So you know, see common weeds here, the same ones we're dealing with in the summer. Whatever this little crazy weed is, I don't know what that is. But I got a feeling it's gonna do good. And even another uh, situation, here, got a little bit of Virginia buttonweed, which is a tough one, um, but it's gonna uh, have some good results on it as well. Early in the morning, you see my footprints in the dew here. And this last little plot over here is just a lot of spurge, okay? And this is gonna be blindside plot number two. Got a little chamber bitter in there, a little bit of Kalinga and lots and lots of spurge. This is a Bermuda grass lawn we'll be able to see are we causing any damage? We want to be a little careful using the sulfentrazone products on a hot day, and you might want to even test a small spot of the yard to make sure it's not going to ding up the turf too bad. On this Bermuda yard, I'm not too worried about that. I think it's going to be fine. I'm also out here earlier in the morning before it gets too hot today. These products can work year round, but for the super fast results, uh, summer weather is definitely going to help. Let's get to spraying. All right, the blind side, I've already got these both mixed up and it comes with this little handy measuring container. I'll tell you how, how I do it. Um, you got the 0.23 line, which uh, I go a little bit above that. So I'm going for like 0.34 ounces in two gallons of water. Okay, so if you read a label on these chemicals, it'll say per thousand square feet. It, may, it might say 0.23 ounces per thousand square feet or uh, 0.15, I think maybe for some cool season grasses. At, at the low rate. Well, I, so I'm going in two gallons of water, I'm going 0 0.34 in two gallons of water for, for the blind side. And I added a little bit of non-ionic surfactant. Okay, so that's how I got the blind side mixed up. The Dismiss NXT going up to that top line in two gallons of water, 0.34 uh, in two gallons of water with a little bit of surfactant. Now I actually got this one mixed up in a one gallon sprayer, so I had to go half that, but typically I'm using a two gallon sprayer. All right, got it mixed up. I'm gonna spray the blind side first on our two plots. 
All right, I'm not trying to soak the weeds here, okay? Just trying to get them, get them wet, but we do want to spray them, and I'm going to spray this uh, Virginia buttonweed. All right, and the second blind side plot is over here. Got my PPE on, rubber gloves, rubber boots, long sleeves, lots of spurge here. All right, we'll see if it does any damage to Bermuda. You can make fun of this spray if you want to. I bought it for a different purpose, but I'm, I'm using it today. All right, Dismiss NXT. Got this crazy broad leaf, little goosegrass, little Kalinga, little Spurge. Let's make something happen. And the second plot of Dismiss NXT right here. Little yellow wood sorrel in here too, almost missed that. We'll check back on the results in a few days. I think this is gonna be fast and action packed. Stay to the end so we can see the results. I wasn't planning on giving an update this fast. It's only been about 11 hours. But let me show you what the Dismiss NXT is doing after 11 hours. Remember that crazy broadleaf weed? I don't, I don't know what it's called, but it's already burning it up. Even the goosegrass kind of bleaching it out here. Not as much going on with the spurge over here or the Kalinga. So we'll give us a little, little bit more time. I was just showing you within the first day, it's putting a hurting on these broadleaf weeds. We're about four days in on the application of Blindside Dismiss NHT. Let's see what's going on. And you remember even on the very first day we started seeing some action on this Dismiss NHT. And you can see it's continuing to pound these weeds, particularly the, the goosegrass and whatever this crazy broadleaf weed is. Really putting a hurting on it. But I want to see. I want to give it some more time. Let's see if it's just an initial burn down or if it's going to be able to finish these weeds off. The other patch of Dismiss NXT you can see was a lot of Kalinga in here, and it's definitely putting a hurting on it. Got brown here, brown here. I got a feeling it's gonna continue to put these things down. So I've seen this movie before, but I wanna give it a little bit more time and see what these look like sooner. Let's check on the blind side. All right, blind side, again, it has the sulfitures on in it too, the quick burn down. And you can see similar results on the Kalinga. Looks like it did something to this little broadleaf weeds really working on it. Now the Metzofuron a lot of times needs water to, to be more active and we have had a little rain so that can be helpful especially on the spurs so let's go look at the other plot. All right here's the other plot here and you can see what it's doing to the spurs. Now it's only been a few days so I think this is gonna gonna continue to deteriorate. We're gonna continue to get the results. There's a little bit of Kalinga right here. Got a little goosegrass action, some sedges. So we're seeing some stuff happen. Let's give it a little bit more time. Oh, here we got the Virginia buttonweed. And it's a good product for that. But let's give it a little bit more time. But I like what I'm seeing so far from both these products. Well, it's been a week. It's time to wrap up the video. Let's show you the results. Dismiss NXT versus Blindside. Both have been very effective. We'll start out with the Blindside. And look what it did to the Kalinga. I mean, I don't know what else you could ask for. Just demolish it, just blow it off the map. Crispy brown. Excellent, excellent results. And I like to see a lot of green Bermuda in here, okay? So minimal damage to the turf, if any. The Virginia buttonweed, which is almost on the uh, list of impossible weeds to kill, is here. Did decent results on that. You can see burning up some nuts edge there. I would expect that Virginia buttonweed to continue to deteriorate a little bit, but just really impressive. Here's some kind of broadleaf weed that did a lot to that as well. So great job on that. Let's check out the other blindside plot. This other plot was mostly spurge and you can see how it's turning it brown. Now, again, I think we gave it just a little bit more time, which I'm not gonna do for the sake of the video. It would continue to deteriorate. I'm actually gonna show you a plot that was sprayed earlier. Uh, you see that nut sedge, not as good on the nut sedge as it is the Kalinga, but you can see some 
smaller nuts edge in here and it's just burning it up too i mean really good okay on the goosegrass nothing to write home about another sample of virginia buttonweed let me show you what blindside did this has been like one week let me show you what it looks like after two weeks on spurge and by the way there's spurge that's healthy i did another video where i was spraying different products on spurge and the blindside actually tested out the best of four different products this was spurge like covered in almost solid spurge plate sprayed with uh blindsides i mean just just obliterated off the map i mean I don't know what else you could ask for. So, really great on Spurge. All right, let's check out the Dismiss NXT plots. Now, the thing I'm a little bit confused on Dismiss NXT is you got some, some really good control on this broadleaf weed. Like, I've tested it before on goosegrass. Like, this is goosegrass with Dismiss NXT. To me, it's just excellent on it. But in this particular case, I don't know, I don't know what happened, but it didn't do as well i don't know if it's going to continue to deteriorate i kind of think it's not but you can see the kalinga really good on it really good on whatever broad leaf that was but a little bit disappointing on the goosegrass but again i know it's a great product for goosegrass so i'm just not sure what happened and kalinga again kalinga kalinga so excellent results you can see the green bermuda grass which is a good sign you can see how it's done some damage to the spurge i wouldn't claim it as a great spurge product i actually tested it you know as one of the four products the blind side test out the best dismiss nxt was actually the worst the other two i tested was change up and celsius so either of these products are gonna give us outstanding control on kalinga and decent control on some other weeds like the goose grass and, and pretty good on spurge so i'd give blind side the edge on the spurge now, you don't have to run out and buy these products just trying to educate people. These are products that I'm not going to mix in a big tank, go spray somebody's whole yard. You go broke doing that. But if you're just using it to spot treat weeds, mixing it in a little backpack, a little handheld sprayer, and they work great on, on spot treating weeds, and they give you a wide variety of control on grassy weeds, broadleaf weeds, sedges, and they work fast. And that was part of the demonstration of the video. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. If you hadn't signed up for the Quip Expo, it's going to be in Louisville, Kentucky in October. Use my code CREEL50, C-R-E-E-L, that's my last name, 50. It'll save you half off your ticket. Also, if you're going to come, also, I'm hosting my fourth conference, the Lawn Care Life Conference, 2024 Lawn Care Life Conference. Uh, you can find out about that at LawnCareLife.com. There's a link that says conference. That's in February 23rd and 24th of 2024. Lining up to be an awesome event and got a lot of people registering already, so excited about that. Also, that's where you'll find information about the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy is LawnCareLife.com. That's for people that want to get into weed control and fertilization business like I do, particularly with warm season grasses. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.